friends, I hope that you all had a fantastic Christmas. I'm sorry I didn't get to say Happy Christmas on the actual day, but I hope that you had a fab couple of days anyway. Um, as always, I get requested to do a Christmas haul, and I like Christmas hauls myself, so I'm going to do I'm going to do one. I know there is a lot of people out there that don't like them, so if you don't like them, don't watch it. It's that simple, really. But for everyone else who does want to watch it, then I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'll just show you a quick overview of the things I got. Um, it's kind of all down there in a pile, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, as you can see, there's a massive gift bag here, and that's the thing that I'm going to start off looking inside first. Okay, so I'm just going to have to stand up and go in here. So the first thing that I got, which um, is probably no surprise, you can guess what it is. It is a dressing gown, um, and it's as Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on, so I thought that was really pretty, so my mum got me that, so thank you mum. This is going to be in no particular order, but it's going to be trying kept short and sweet because my camera is still needing repair. So in with the next thing, let's see if I can reach in instead. Okay, so I got this coat from my grandma, and it is from Warehouse, and it is a lovely quilted jacket type coat. Um, it has a belt that cinches in in the waist and it has fur on the hood there and it's a little bit hard to get in full shot so um, I may link this in the down bar below if you're interested in looking at this coat I think she got a bargain on ASOS so I think it was reduced from £85 to £65 if you're interested, you're interested in that I'll link it in the down bar below uh, some socks, socks are always good for Christmas with the little bobbles on so that was from my mum and dad. I should when I say mum, I mean mum and dad because I just always say mum because she picked them but my dad kind of equally paid for them so um some slippers they're so soft they're like rabbit skin or something probably not real rabbit skin because I probably wouldn't be up for that but um it feels so soft so very nice I always need slippers um a hat and normally I can't wear hats because they don't suit me but this one I quite liked so what do you think <laughs> okay so I got this hat um, from my mum and dad again so that will keep me warm in winter probably messed up all my hair now um, what else is in this bag there's a few things left in the bottom some black leggings just some plain black leggings don't need to go into detail about those and one of my favorite pieces of clothing is these disco pants from boohoo um, if you don't know what disco pants are, they are sort of very shiny leggings. Um, they're usually high-waisted as well. I'll just show you. I got the navy version. As you can see, uh, maybe you can see anyway, they're very shiny and they're very elasticated. They're kind of like lycra, but these are lovely on. So, that's everything for my big sack. Um, more presents did come in it, but... Um, they're all kind of vacated all over my floor now. Um, uh, okay, let's do my main present. So my main present was this lovely pink thing. Well, actually, this pink thing is a smart case or a smart cover. And inside is the iPad Retina. So this was my main present. Um, and yes, what more can I say? I will do some iPad reviews on um, this at a later date as my mum also got the iPad mini, my sister got another iPad retina, my other sister got an iPad mini so we're kind of a family of iPads and I thought it'd be good to do a comparison between the mini and the iPad retina so stay tuned for that, I got the white version in case you didn't see that already. Um, yes and with that I got a case from River Island to put it in, a little protective pouch for it because I'm all about protecting my gadgets because I'm a massive gadget freak <laughs> if you didn't already know along with beauty freak and everything else freak <laughs> but um so kind of on to other electricals and this is more beauty related I actually got an electric facial sauna now I probably will do a review on it when I've um, tried and tested it a little bit more I've tried it out once and I'm really liking it basically I suffer with quite bad skin at the minute I've got some sort of acne on my cheeks and um, around my chin area and um, I also have um, sinus issues as well, issues as well. so my mum felt that a facial sauna might help with those issues. So thank you mum, very nice gadget there, another gadget to add to my collection. 
Um, and an, another kind of electrical slash, yeah, electrical beauty thing, I'd say. Um, it's not quite on the face though, but um, it's for your feet. And it's the Pedigro Dulux, oh, Pedi Pro Dulux. And basically it buffs the, this is gonna sound disgusting, but the dead skin off your heels on your feet. Um, and I suffer with really bad, um, sort of itchy, dry heels from doing all my exercise and activity and stuff. So my mum felt again that this might be useful. So thank you. I've actually tried this out and it's really helpful. So um, I might do a review on this as well at some point. Maybe on my beauty blog, I'm not sure. We'll see. But so in another electrical. Um, I have got a few other electricals, but I'm not going to do them to the end of the video and you'll see why. Um, so on next, no particular order, kind of just gone off of clothing, but some more clothing. Um, some boots, and it's military style, and these are my favourite boots in the whole world, and they came from a local shop near me that was called Put Your Foot In It, and it recently closed down, and my mum and dad tricked me and said that they couldn't find any of my favourite boots before it closed, and um, I was at uni so I couldn't check or anything, and they actually surprised me and bought me these. So when I opened these on Christmas Day I was really excited because now I have my favourite pair of boots again because I wore the last two pairs out so I, I'm going to try and be really careful with them. So nice military style boots. Um, next, um, a beauty related thing, it's the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Starter Kit. You get a muslin cloth, a um, tonic face spritzer and obviously the Liz Earl Cleansing lotion. I'm sure you've all seen loads of these but stay tuned for my review of these when I've, of this rather, when I've actually um, got round to using it properly. Um, next beauty kind of thing, um, Soap and Glory gift set, uh, it says it on the back actually, Righteous Butter, Flake Away, Clean On Me, Girly Go and Hand Food. So so I'm looking forward to using these as I don't have that many Soap and Glory products and I'm really liking what I've got so far. So yes, I'm really looking forward to using that. And the next thing is the Viva La Juicy Perfume by Juicy Couture. This is a lovely bottle. Um, let me get it out for you. Look at how pretty this is. Now this is actually an 100ml mil version rather and um, my mum wasn't sure about getting me this or getting me this because I've not been very good with perfumes in the past I used to get really bad migraines from wearing fragrances so I never used to wear them but recently I've been wearing the Lady Gaga and the DKNY Apple so she bought me this and just hoped for the best uh, now it has got a rather sweet sort of hint of floral smell in it I would say and this is kind of border borderline headache perfume for me so we're gonna have to play it by ear with this one which would be a shame because I believe this was probably this was probably around 50 or 60 pounds um so yeah I'm just gonna hope for the best and hope that I'll be able to wear it I've worn it once and it kind of was borderline headache but I didn't get a headache so maybe I'll be okay but anyway I'll keep you posted on that but it's a really nice perfume it's just me I'm a little bit weird with scents okay and the next thing that I got is this MAC set and I'm super excited about this because this sold out online very early and I didn't think I'd get it but apparently one of the shops still had them in stock um, and it's called Quite Coral um, and it's in as you'd expect as you'd expect a coral case like this with a bow on and um, so it opens up like this and it has a little um, pocket pouch and inside the pouch is the 129 SE um, powder brush so just a little mini brush there and then you open up this case bit here and inside is a lovely mirror as you can see and then inside that is an array of things very exciting things you've got a lip gloss oh a lip glass sorry it's mac isn't it in pure flattery and that's a little mini lip glass um you've also got probably put that down actually it'll be easier a a blusher in born to love frost which is a gorgeous color i've not actually opened this yet very nice um coral peachy color 
Um, you have a lipstick, if I can get it out. Oh, everything's falling out now, as you can probably hear. Um, a lipstick in... It's a cream sheen in a heartbeat, it's called. And that is a lo lovely coral lipstick there. Sorry if my editing isn't very good. Um, my camera does keep turning off and I keep having to restart what I'm saying. So um, apologies for that. Hopefully my camera will be fixed in the new year. Um, and, um, and then, last but not least in the set, you get a technical liner. Um, and this is in Photo Gravel. Photo Gravel. And it is a brown shade. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there we go. Let me see if I can draw on my hand. So it's a nice brown shade. I've not actually got a brown eyeliner either. And I know that these are really good because I used to have the black one before it ran out. That is the Quiet Coral MAC set. And I'm very excited about that. Along with that, I'm really excited to finally get my hands on the MAC 217 Eyeshadow Blending Brush. Because this is like a staple for any beauty fan, I believe. And now I have one. I'm really looking forward to trying that. So um, hopefully I'll be doing wonderful things with eyeshadow thanks to this brush. Yeah, she says. Um, right, so where are we? Um, a Vaseline Lips makeup bag. Um, inside, a Lip Boom by MUA. And it's got Alexandra Burke on the front. And this is a lovely... It says 4-in-1, but I'm not quite sure how it is 4-in-1. But it's definitely 3-in-1. So what you get is a stick like this. Um, the top bit pulls off into a little lip gloss like so. Um, the middle bit pulls apart and you get a lipstick camera cut out again but anyway mine is in this dark shade um, but it comes out much lighter on the skin um, and then on the other end you get a very shiny lip gloss a super sparkly lip gloss as you can as you can see so um, that is the lip boom I'm not sure if it's got a color on um, I'm not sure, I'll find that out for you if I can and put it in the down bar below. But So that's a lip boom, very impressed with that. I like the um, kind of vampire deep purpley shades at the minute. And an MUA Makeup Academy Professional, the Artiste Collection. Um, I think here you've got two um, blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter. And then along the top there you've got several shades of eyeshadows. So that would be perfect to use with my MAC blending brush. So um, that's a nice little palette. Um, also in the Vaseline bag, I have several face masks. I have Fruit Sorbet Antioxidant Peel Off Mask in Raspberry, Cranberry and Red Grape. I also have one in Tropical Cocktail, um, sort of coconut mango. I also have one in um, Cucumber peel off one again, I love the peel off mask and another tropical one, so I have four face masks there which I can't wait to use um, a Vaseline Healthy Hands and Stronger Nails hand cream I love the Vaseline hand cream um, a Max Factor False Lash Effect Fusion um, it's a purple one, this is one of my favourite um, high street mascaras so um, I suggest you try that one out and last but not least a Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Rosy Lips, just a, just a standard Vaseline lip balm. Love these, always got one of these attached to my side. So that's what's in that contents of that bag. Um, then moving on, um, Thomas Sabo. As you may know, if you saw my birthday um, haul, my friends bought me a bracelet. And for that bracelet, my mum picked up a charm for me. And it is... A cute little nail polish charm I don't know if you can see that quite I hope that you can um, and it says perfect Sabo nails and because I'm a beauty freak a beauty um, obsessed person she thought that the nail varnish one would just be ideal and so I think that's just absolutely gorgeous so now I have a beautiful little bracelet with a lovely charm on it so thank you to my uni housemates and also thank you to my mum and dad for getting me that charm um, it also, I must say, it came like really beautifully packaged in like this little bag here, if I can open it, 
and then a little pouch like this and then inside the little pouch is this mini little Tomasabo box I think they are gorgeous so the packaging just won me over right away and then the charm was even better um, and now for a little bit disappointing present there's this nail polish set and I believe it's from Primark and she just got it and my mum bought it me as a stocking filler well actually in fact she bought it for my sister and my sister didn't want it because she wears acrylic false nails so she gave it me and I was really happy with, really happy with the shades in it and I went to try on that red shade called Dorothy on Christmas Day and it is toxic. The smell of these nail polishes shouldn't be allowed. They are literally, as I was saying, I am funny with scents and literally it was headache central and oh, it made me feel ill and I had to take it straight off my nails which is why I've not got any nail polish still on my nails because um, I can't seem to locate any nail polish at the minute in my room. Um, I think it's all at my uni house but anyway so yeah, big thumbs down to Primark nail polish because, oh, it's horrible. Even my mum said, don't wear that, it stinks. So she made me wash it off straight away because she knew I'd get a headache from it. So, so I'm afraid that's a big thumbs down to Primark nail polish. But if you had it and you liked it, then fair enough. But really, the smell in this is just far too strong. Ugh, worst nail polish ever. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, a lovely lovely cider collection because cider is actually my favorite drink because i'm such a classy person um and it's got magna's original it's got some cider that i've never tried before which is um newton's discovery cider it's got my favorite all-time cider stoford press and it's got magna's pear so i'm going to look forward to drinking those in the new year i'm going to save them a little bit so thank you to my mum and dad for those and on with the sort of food drink um food drink category <laughs> um some flying saucers flying saucers are amazing to me they're my favorite sweet i like sort of getting all the sherbet out of them and then eating the sugar paper last because i'm strange like that so i love these thank you to my mum and dad for those um also i got some frere rocher chocolates and they were from my grandma so as you can see there's some missing i also got a selection box from my uncle along with money um there's nothing in it i haven't eaten it all i promise but it is lying about somewhere um but that's just the box so that's nice chocolate's always good um also from my grandma i got some marzipan fruits there is they are open because i love marzipan and i couldn't resist opening them before this haul so marzipan fruits thumbs up if you like marzipan fruits because none of my family do apart from me and my mum actually i'm getting really fed up with my camera turning off now that must be like the 10th time i've had to restart it so i'm hoping that this haul is in some way visible because it might not be to any good standard by the time i'm having to edit it and cut things out but anyway um, um on with the next thing, um, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn calendar, um, I'm a big fan of Twilight, not as big a fan as my sister is but all the same it's got some lovely um, pictures for the 2013 months. Um, next thing, a candle in, mm, it smells lovely this does, what is it? Purple Blackberry Fig, I think, yes purple blackberry fig and it's one of those that when you light it it lights up and I've already got one of those in my uni room but I've nearly burnt the vanilla one out so this will probably replace it so that's another lovely present because I love candles you'll probably know that if you saw my candle rant on a, a video previ um, previous to this um, and then the last two things are the electricals that I spoke about that I wouldn't be doing until the end of the video. I think I'm through with all my presents now. Oh no wait, I forgot something quite important. It's because they're over here because I've just been using them. But it is some GHD straighteners. And these are my first pair of GHD straighteners. And this is a black gloss 5 styler. And these are just amazing. I've just um, straightened my hair with them and literally, my hair is usually naturally quite straight anyway. But um, literally I just need one little slide of the tongs and that's it. It's straight. Amazing. So this was actually a surprise present and I got given this after all my other presents had been opened. And I wasn't expecting anything. My sister's got iPads as surprises. But um, I actually got this, so or these rather. So I was really happy about that, and I think they're going to last me a long time. So another beauty, beauty, beauty electrical. 
Now on to the electricals that I spoke about before. Um, you understand that I can only do this um, sort of once before. The, basically these electricals are more kids toys and they will go off and they won't stop talking so I'm going to have to be quick about this. So the first one is Bop It. Now actually this one won't have to go off I don't believe if I don't touch it too much but this is a, a different version of Bop It than the the one where you pull it, twist it, flick it. This one you push in either side and you have to get the lights in the middle. So shall I do you a little demo? Um, Okay, so you can see I'm smash doing solo, and it's going to smash it to start. My score is 68. So my high score Level is 68, one. and as you can see, oh, now, try harder. so you have to smash it to get it in the middle, so press it in. Oh, I'm rubbish on camera. I can't do it on camera. Okay, so I was rubbish at Bop It on camera, so I'll just put that away. You might actually hear it still in my room, but I've just kind of hid it under another dressing gown. Um, and the last thing, and not the least thing, is this little guy. And this is only the box, but as you can tell, I got a Furby. It was a surprise, a surprise, I didn't ask for it, but I am, a big, I am a big kid and I love it. And I got the red sort of orange version, and I'm just going to get him. Shall we wake him up? Mm. You can tickle him. <laughs> and you won't actually be able to... He's singing now. Uh, you won't be able to see his eyes because it's really bright. I don't think you'll be able to pick them up on camera. It's so cute though. It's so cute. And I was really surprised about this. I mean, these are about 50 or 60 pounds, I believe. So I was really surprised that my mum bothered to actually get me one. But um, they are so cute. And you can link them up. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Yeah? But you can <laughs> link it up. Oh, he's moving. Anyway. You can link it up to your iPhone with an app and feed it sort of ice cream and other fish and all sorts of things and you can see what he's actually saying as well in food. Okay, so my camera went off again, but um, okay. basically, yeah, well, it's a cute present. I think you can, shh, I think you can pull his tail. <laughs> Should we tickle him again? And you can also, you can also okay, feed him with I your finger. <laughs> he talks really weird when you feed him with your finger. I'm not very sure. I think he's tired. Do you want to go to sleep now? <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, but you're very cute. Okay, so I'm going to go because this won't shut up now until I stop talking because it'll want to go to sleep in absolute silence. So I'll have to put him somewhere in my room or just not speak for a while. But that is my Christmas haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm, I do hope that it turns out okay after all the editing because my camera is very dodgy. But thank you to my, all my recent subscribers hey, and all of them. Yeah, Phoebe said thank you too. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do click there. And I'll see you guys soon for lots of reviews, um, electrical reviews, obviously, because I sent to got a lot of ele electricals this year. Um, and also makeup. Check out my fitness blog for inspiration. I'll be getting down by below. Check out my beauty blog for new posts on beauty things. And maybe this little guy might feature as well. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Wow. Wow. <laughs>